Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue. A warm welcome to North London. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur, and they take on Sheffield United. Cheers, Derek. Yeah, really excited about this one. Looking forward to some entertaining end-to-end -end football. Hyper, number nine, Gareth Bale. Well, this is something they clearly need to improve upon. I'm talking about the record away from home, Lee. Well, Derek, with only one win all season away from home, I don't really see them changing that record too much today. But you never know, it's a funny old game. The fans deserve something. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Enjoy the game. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really be that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. Harry Kane. Bale. Kane. Here's Ndombele. Lo Celso. In position here to protect the ball. Reguilon. Javier. Bale. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Baldock and Ben Osborne has it and a tidy ball how about the cross and slipped through beautifully and a tidy tackle Lo Celso this is Gareth Bale Vital interception, the danger was very real. John Fleck. Egan. Osborne. Oliver Norwood. Able to close down the shot. Eric Dyer. Kane. Now Son. Good looking ball. Lo Celso. Fabier, really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Keen to take it short here. Showing a real will to win the ball. Fleck. John Fleck. Now McGoldrick. Bogle. 
Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. John Fleck. Oliver Norwood. Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Well, he'll be thanking his lucky stars that the referee settled for a verbal warning rather than a booking. A goal it is! A confidently taken penalty! Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot, he didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Visitors. Number 17, David McGoldrick. Lo Celso. He's going forward well here. Possession lost. The visitors are struggling with possession, really. But on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. And possession lost, intercepted. Rebier. Ndombele. Lo Celso, and here's Dombele. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Fleck. Really good interception. Aurier. Here's Lo Celso. Ndombele. Lo Celso. Oh, they've lost it. Bogle. It's with John Fleck. Making progress. There will be one minute added on at the end. Lo Celso. Now Harry Kane. Bale. So the half-time whistle, and this has to go down as a shock based on what we were discussing earlier, Lee, namely their poor away form. Well, leading by one at the break wasn't part of your half-time... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Osborne. Fleck. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Reguilon. Here's Ndombele. Harry Kane. Rebier. Now Harry Kane. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Brian. 
It is to be a throw-in. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Pabier. Deli Alli now. Given away by Tottenham. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Aurier. And Hoybier with it. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Yes, the problem seems to be in that last challenge, he took a massive blow to his upper thigh. He's struggling at the moment, but hasn't asked to come off. Cheers, Jeff. Hey, Pierre. Here's Deli Alley. Bale. What a vital intervention. John Fleck. And they've won possession again. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. Substitution time it is. Played into the centre of the box. The header, but far too straight to worry the keeper. Yeah, meat and drink for a goalkeeper of that class. Tottenham really controlling possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Deli Alley. Deli Alley. Rebierre. On to Bale. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Kane. And here's Dombele. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Well, that's one for them to pursue. They've regained possession. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Really getting stuck in. There to win it back. Deli Alley. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Pierre. Ndombele. Son. And return to Son. Reguilon. No possibilities inside the box. Ndombele. Kane. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. You always say that you get one more chance. The Tottenham fans certainly believe so. Incredible noise in here right now. George Baldock. And Ben Osborne has it. John Fleck. Might be able to produce from this position. Fleck. Options in the centre. Really good challenge. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Ndombele. Kane. A really effective shielding under pressure. 
And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And that brings this game to an end. And I'll tell you what, Lee, exactly what the visitors needed, considering how poorly they've been playing away from home. Well, a really good result, Derek, today. They're not used to winning on their travels. The fans will be most surprised of all. Super win, more of the same. Well, let's hope so anyway.